Festival 2018, and we're here beside Amon vs. Devilman. Now, Shanab back with us from Figurama Collectors. This is more your bread and butter type material. This is the anime stuff, the stuff that you love. Uh, I had a chance to unbox this piece yesterday, and I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a bit of a nightmare, but you guys managed to, to split it down, pack it up nice and safe. The packaging presentation was top notch. Yeah, and um, to be honest, that was uh, one of the, um, I could say, a real artist to send it from China to Japan by an EMS. So like just see like after you saw that uh, drop this video, we want to see like how it's gonna be in like a real life handling. It was amazing. Uh, so thank you uh, if it actually will survive. And like most of the people, they they, they were a bit uh, skeptical about like how it's gonna make it because it's like that's so tiny sharp pieces. But we like managed to like nail down the packaging and it's like gonna be implemented for all the ones. Packaging was good, you had little bits yeah. of foam in there for extra protection. Yeah. Now this piece is sculpted by Caleb Nefson. Yes. Uh, I met Caleb in Singapore and he's very quiet, very humble guy, but, but his work is, is really loud, right? Yeah. He speaks for him. Can you tell us a little bit about Caleb and how you guys met up with him? Uh, actually, as I mentioned to you before, uh, uh, I used to be a collective for like me and the floor, but uh, he has to uh, get into the business. Uh, I was a big fan of his work even before. Uh, once we got the chance to you know, like, uh, get our hands on Devil Man, I thought you know like such a dark character, it like, suits him very well. And he's the guy with the details. Um, and to be honest, he's the only artist that we like dealt with him twice as a 3D. Uh, now we are working on a project that we are going to announce hopefully in a month. Secret project? Yeah, it's yeah. a very secret project, okay. but it's, uh, it's something going to be wrong. So yeah, uh, Caleb is a nice guy, he is very humble, uh, down to earth, he's a real artist, you know. Uh, you should know how to like, let's say, uh, get his work painting. I really appreciate his art and uh, the new excerpt of what we put into the piece. This one was uh, done in collaboration with uh, John Singh, the uh, artist, it was uh, more of a relationship between the drama and him. But Caleb, he like did add his own touches to it because initially we really, really, like, wanted uh, the man to be connected to the base, like to this area. But Caleb says, you like, you know what, like, this is the challenge and to uh, push it like just to make uh, one connection point, which is with the arm of him. And I think that's what set the piece as awesome, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, zero graphic. Uh, yeah, so it, 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 like, it can be. So he's an artist that he had his own touches, and I respect that. He did an amazing job. So you mentioned the connection point. So I'm an engineer at home, that's my day job. So I look at stuff like this and I'm wondering how's it going to stand up long term. Yeah. I noticed the big metal tanks and everything. So tell us yeah. a little bit how you engineered this piece. Yeah. Uh, actually, this piece it was really specific. Uh, we we like make sure that we put the metal rigging in, in every uh, part that could be breakable to like last forever. Uh, we have done like lots of tests, shaking tests, whatever you call it. It's survived all of them. Uh, we kept repeating, repeating the test till we have reached that perfection. Um, I want to feel like it's a show that uh, like what this is, what we'll get. It's gonna last you happily. Awesome. Looks awesome. I noticed some improvements from last year. Think we're gonna play last year. Yes. The teeth. Did an amazing job. I think they look even better in the world like you have last year. And that's what we heard uh, from Hell Panther when he came here yesterday uh, to bring his second piece, Helsing. Yep. Um, we always do our best to exceed the prototype. The prototype always like, comes with a close because you know um, it's the first time that we see the prototype is at the Wonder Festival. Even uh, like Helsing, yeah, yep. it's, it's the first time that we received it like, like it was yesterday. We always uh, tweak and listen. Uh, you know, like our collectors in the Figurami and Hat, they like think to suggest things, and uh, the team they like share it with us. Wherever we see that it's really valid, we like go ahead and uh, do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like there's no ego here. It's, it's like just about like, how to perfect it. All of our collectors they are a niche artists, so we like believe in every opinion if it's valid. Excellent, so you get the fan input. So you mentioned you're a big fan, you're a collector yourself. Yes, yes. and so that's what we like keep saying, yeah, from a collector to a collector. Excellent. 
Yeah. So tell us about what you collect and yeah. what brought you into the hobby. And yeah. Actually, I uh, collect over uh, 750 pieces uh, since I was uh, a teenager. No, 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 no. 750. Yeah. Uh, it like varies, but uh, to to be honest, it's like mostly anime uh, from the BBC to resin and whatsoever. Uh, if you ask me like what I collect uh, from the recent companies, I would say uh, Rio Studio. Uh, oh. I love their work. Uh, I think they do a good job. It's one of the pieces that I would like to collect, which is the Naruto. Oh, yeah. That's the one by Studio Hive? Yeah. I met these guys I, last, I last year. So. Guys, yeah. yeah, so like this are you know, like the companies that you know, like we, we, we want to see in the market something dynamic. I think we want to just like over gold. This is dynamic, I gotta say, I love this piece. This is my favorite. You can get more dynamic. Yeah, this is my favorite of your, all your stuff from the show, so great job. Thanks again. Thanks, Chris. Okay, Thanks. let's up from Spigurama Collectors. We'll talk to you guys later.